Hello everybody and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we are in LA to try to avenge our loss to the Dodgers yesterday. Been a bit of an up and down stretch here as of late. Been a rainy day out here in California. Right, looks like the same lineup that the Dodgers threw out there yesterday. Which, you know, why wouldn't they? They won. Quo on the mound today. I will say, I feel better than I have the past couple days, but I'm still definitely stuffy. Kester starts off with a strike. And then grounds this one to third. Mike Lowell takes care of that. One down. Pardon me, I'm sure you can hear all that. Marvin is going to hit a ground ball to second. We'll say, historically speaking, we never seem to hit well in the rain. But that is a generalization, so we'll see what happens today. Chief with an 0 and 2 count. Grounds this one too for Call, who throws over, and that's a 1 2 3 inning to start the game. For Call will lead things off for the Dodgers in the bottom half of the inning. Squirrels with the normal defensive lineup on the mound and Polly, or normal defensive lineup in the field, Polly on the mound. And the ground ball to third, Chief throws over, one down. That'll bring Soria to the plate, batting under 100. It's quickly down 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring Andrew Jones to the plate. And he'll look at strike one. That pitch down and out. Make it two and one. Gets him to swing and miss at a fastball. Two and two the count. Swings and misses at a changeup. That will end the inning. Both teams scoreless after one. Terry will take the plate to start the second inning. First pitch, a curveball called a strike. Does not get the call on that fastball. One and one the count. There's a called strike on the outside. Chief lays off. Apparently this one a little further outside. And yeah, that curveball too high. Full count to start off the inning. Grails this one right to for call it short. One down. That'll bring Frank to the plate. First pitch goes outside. Second pitch right down the middle. Frank does not swing at it. Doesn't swing at this one either, but it's a ball. Hits this one pretty hard, but foul. Another full count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, it's up to Tom to keep the inning going. And first pitch goes inside. Second pitch outside. 
Here's a called strike. Two and one, the count. And a line drive into right field. That's the first base hit for either team today. <coughs> Zach at the plate hit a home run yesterday. Looks at strike one in this at-bat. Looks at strike two. And this pitch inside. One and two, the count. Quo gets a swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. Still scoreless going into the bottom of the second. The Dodgers will have James Loney coming to the plate. First pitch to Loney called a strike. Second pitch up and in. And this pitch outside, two and one the count. Pops this one up, will Tom have a play? No, he runs out of room. Two and two the count. Gets a called strike on the outside with a fastball. Strike three, one down. Andre Ethier now at the plate. And he'll take a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Mike Lowell at the plate. And he'll start off with a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. called strike three that ends the second inning we're still scoreless only one hit in the game so far Joey will lead off things for the squirrels in the top of the third quo winds and delivers a low fastball this one hit into, oh no, I thought it was going to be base hit into center, but for call, able to get a glove on it, one down. That will bring Polly to the plate, and he almost gets a hit down the first base line, but it hooks foul. Tries it again, but this time Loney is able to make the play. Two strikeouts for Quo the first time through. Kester, not one of those victims. He ground out instead. Has a one and one count in this at bat. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. This should be a base hit, and it is. Marvin batting right handed. This pitch gets away. That'll move Kester up into scoring position, but there are two outs. Marvin's going to have to get a hit here. And he is unable to do so. A soft liner to second will end the top of the third. Still scoreless, though the Squirrels now have two hits. Russell Martin is going to lead off things for the Dodgers. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch is lined down the first base line, and that one will stay fair. That's the first hit for the Dodgers. Martin takes second. Throw is a little bit offline, but I don't think it would have mattered. I do think Russell Martin beat it there anyway. But it would have been close. Who at the plate has a one and one count? Pops this one up down the third base line. Tom grabs it for the first out. Quo at the plate, and he'll take strike one. This one is not going to get through for a base hit. Joey makes a nice play up the middle and gets the out at first. So two down, but the runner does move to third for Rafael for call as he takes strike one. Pops this one up. This should get them out of the inning. Tom makes the grab. That's it for the third. Both teams with a couple with some hits, three combined hits for the teams, but no runs. Chief is going to lead things off for the Squirrels here in the fourth. Quo
Quo starts things off with a slider that's called a strike. Chief hits this one right to Loney at first. One down. Terry now at the plate. He looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring Frank to the plate. Nobody on base, two outs. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch too low. Frank puts this into center field. Andrew Jones takes a few steps over and makes the grab. Still scoreless as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Soria is due up for the Dodgers in the bottom half of the inning. Five strikeouts for Polly so far, and Soria was one of those victims. He looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Called strike three on the knuckle. One down, Andrew Jones, another strikeout victim. That knuckle ball rolled in, I think. There's a pitch down the middle, but Andrew Jones only able to manage a ground ball to Kester. Two outs, James Loney at the plate. He'll take strike one. That pitch down and out. One and one the count. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that will end the fourth inning. Still waiting on some runs. Tom due up for the Squirrels to try to make that happen in the fifth. Tom with a base hit in his first at-bat. Looks at strike one to open this at-bat. And that pitch runs inside. Hits this one towards third, but Lowell will handle it. One down. Zach, a strikeout victim. One of three so far today for the Squirrels as he looks at strike one. Swings and misses to make it 0-2. And yeah, that pitch fouled away into the first base seats. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down for Joey. Thought he had a hit in his first at bat, but for call was able to make a good play. Has an 0-2 count to open this at bat. Hits this one up the middle. Quo able to knock it down and get the out. We're at the halfway point, still scoreless. Andre Ethier will open things up in the bottom half of the fifth inning. First pitch down and in. This pitch fouled away. One and one the count. It does not get the call on that outside fastball. Two and one. And that pitch too low. Three and one the count. There's a called strike to make it full. Ethier puts us into right. Zach drifts over and makes the grab. One down. Mike Lowell at the plate. And he'll take strike one. This pitch down and in. One and one to count. Down and in again. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Is this going to get down for a hit? Yes, it will. Hit into shallow left. One on, one out. Russell Martin with the other Dodgers hit today. Watches that first pitch go well outside and low. Tom did a good job to even get a glove on it. And the next pitch out of the zone as well. There's a swing and a miss. Makes it two and one. 
Polly losing his touch a bit here. Has worked the count full though. One on, one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down now, who at the plate, fouled out in his first at bat. Take strike one. And that one hit the plate, I think. There's a called strike, one and two. And fouled away, we'll do it again. That pitch too low, who doesn't go chasing? This one will get down for a base hit. I thought Kester might have it. I think that was Mike Lowell trying to take third on that, which was uh, optimistic and was easily thrown out at third to end the inning. So we're into the sixth now, still no score. Polly's going to lead things off with the ground ball to third. Crossed my mind to pinch hit, but I still wanted him to go at least six innings, so. Wasn't quite time yet. Kester has a one and one count. Make it two and one. This should be a base hit. One out single for Kester. Marvin 0 for 2 today. Still batting right handed. Looks at strike one. Swing and a miss. Makes it 0 and 2. This one right two for call. Two down. It's up to Chief. Hitless today. It's Quo starting to get tired. That ground ball does not get around Lowell. Makes a pretty decent play and throw. That will end the top of the sixth inning. We are still scoreless, and the pitcher spot up for the Brew or the Brewers, the Dodgers. Does appear Quo is going to hit for himself, so you would imagine he will at least start the seventh inning. First pitch in the dirt. As is the second pitch, two and oh the count. Holly goes with a knuckleball that misses the zone as well. 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah, that's a four pitch walk to the opposing pitcher. And lead off walk to the opposing pitcher, I might also add. Brings Rafael for call to the plate, and he has a 2 and 0 oh count. Polly, you live with a little bit of wildness when you got a knuckleballer, but this is bad even for him. There's finally a strike after seven straight balls. Second called strike makes the count full. For call finally swings and comes up empty. One down. Good battle back for Polly. Maybe, maybe found his stride again as he starts Soria off with a strike. That pitch too low. Soria lays off. There's a swing and a miss. Makes it one and two. Looks at strike three. Two down, runner still on first. Andrew Jones at the plate. And he'll look at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Polly gets around that leadoff walk. We go into the seventh. Neither team with the run, both teams with three hits. Terry will lead things off. He is 0 for 2 so far today. See if Quo can finish this inning. As Terry looks at strike one, hits the second pitch, but Ethier should have that. One down near the warning track. Brings Frank to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Looks at strike one. Hits this one, foul down the first base line. And lets that fastball go. One and two the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Tom at the plate. He is one for two. Looks like Quo just might make it through this inning after all. Tom puts us into center field, but this will get down uh, sort of in the gap. Two out single will bring Frank to the, Frank Zach to the plate. 
He has struck out swinging at both at bats. Puts the bat on the ball here, but it's just a ground ball to first. Loney boots it, but is able to pick it up and make the play. So we are still scoreless as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Loney on the other side. off the plate. We're going to let Polly go at least one more inning. First pitch in there for a strike. Second pitch is into right field. Zach can't quite make the play. Catches it on a short hop. Lead off single brings Ethier to the plate. He is 0 for 2 so far today. Pops this one up. Tom is able to make the play at the fence. One down. Mike Lowell got a hit in his last at bat. Swings and misses at the first pitch here. Pops this one up. Polly going to field it himself. Two down. And Russell Martin at the plate. He is doubled and struck out today. Looks at a ball. Looks at another ball. Three and O, oh, and we'll say this at bat is making me nervous. There's a called strike. Martin seeming to take all the way. Does swing at this one to foul it off. Full count, two outs. Runner will take off from first. Popped foul. Tom will get us out of this inning. All right, we go into the eighth. Still no score. Four hits apiece for the teams. Joey due up, so that will be the last of Polly. Quo still on the mound, though. Can't have much left in the tank. Felix, like he's been wiping his brow for a while now. In fact, looks like Joey will be his last hitter. As he has him down 0-2. Hit back up the middle, but who is able to make a play? One down. Dodgers are going to go get Cardo. Jeremy Accardo. Um, let's try Quinton. All right, first pitch is inside. Grounder to first. Loney grabs it, steps on the bag. Two down. Kester at the plate. And he looks at strike one. I was really hoping for at least one hit here. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Kester lines out to third. Still scoreless as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Who is due to lead off for the Dodgers? Guess we'll let a uh, Quinton play second. He has done that for us before, and he does okay. And Nakai, the usual reliever behind Polly. So no decision for Polly today. Or for Quo, for that matter. Who, with an 0-2 count. Throws a breaking ball. Breaks too much. 1-2. There's a swing and miss on a changeup. One down. Looks like a Cardo's going to get to hit today. First pitch goes inside. There's a called strike. Another called strike. Swing and a miss. Strike three. 
two down for Call. 0 for 3 today at the plate. He'll take strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. We're going to go into the ninth inning. Neither team has really gotten particularly close to scoring a run. Marvin is going to lead off things for the Squirrels here in the possible final inning. He is 0 for 3, but now gets to bat left-handed. Comes up empty on the first pitch. Hits the second pitch. Is Jones going to get there? No, that's going to fall in for what looks to be a double. Marvin with some good wood on the bat there. Gets a leadoff double and the Squirrels possibly in business. Will bring Chief to the plate. He hits this one right to Lowell at third. A bit of a long throw, but it will keep Marvin at second. Terry now at the plate. First pitch called a strike on the outside corner. Terry hits this into right field. Did he get all of it? He did. His third home run of the season. A two-run shot in the ninth inning to finally break this scoreless tie. And in the rain, too. I think the rain had held off for most of the game, but now that it's started, the Squirrels finally have some runs on the board. So... Base is now empty. Frank at the plate, one down. And he will look at the first pitch, go inside. Swing and a miss at pitch number two. Called strike. Swing and a miss, two down. Tom at the plate has a couple hits today. Looks at that ball down in the dirt. And that went outside. Make it 3-0. There's a strike. Tom taking all the way. Hits this one through the left side of the infield. Another hit for Tom. And that's going to be it for Ricardo. They're going to go turn to Jason Schmidt. All right, Zach 0 for 3 today. Looks at strike one, swings and misses for strike two. And doesn't go chasing that fastball. Hits this one into right field. That's going to be a base hit. It'll put two aboard for Joey. There are two outs, though. He looks at strike one. Hits this one down the right field line. That's going to score another run. Three to nothing squirrels all scored here in the ninth. And that's going to be it for Schmidt. They're going to go get Pineda to try to get out of this last inning. All right, Quinton gets a second at bat. He looks at a ball low. Swing and a miss. Makes it one and one. And that curveball outside. And this comes inside. Swing and a miss. Full count. Runners will be taking off. And there they go. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Doesn't matter. But the Squirrels do score three runs, finally. So uh, Shibuya is going to have some room to play with here. As Soria is going to lead things off for the Dodgers. Huh. Uh, yeah, let's flip them. I, I 
Don't know if I'm thrilled at exactly how this defensive lineup came out, but hopefully Shibuya will not make it matter in a good way. All right, Soria struck out an all at bat so far today. Pops this one foul. Swings and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Ground ball to third. Chief throws over. One down. Andrew Jones also 0 for 3 today. Struck out in two of his three at bats. First pitch goes outside. There's a strike. This one pulled foul. Well hit, but not too threatening. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, James Loney, the final chance for the Dodgers. Got a hit in his last at bat, struck out in his other two. Puts this one towards short, and this is actually going to be a pretty solid base hit into left. All said and done. That will bring Andre Ethier to the plate. He is 0 for 3. Two outs, runner on first. First pitch fouled away. Called strike down at the knees. 0 and 2. Oh, we're going to get a pickoff. A pickoff to end the game. I'm not sure we've ever had that before. Your final score today, Indianapolis Squirrels 3, Los Angeles Dodgers 0. Squirrels bounce back. Although it won't be time to win the series tomorrow. This is a four-game set out here in L.A. But we can guarantee at least a split. All right, Terry, your player of the game for that home run, which, you know, fine by me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, feel very free. We're still just a handful of people away from 100 subscribers. So, again, thank you, everybody. Uh, we've got the Dodgers here again tomorrow. We will see you then.